but instead of basking in the limelight, she dropped out of sight. I'm just sort of in here in this moment and don't really, I'm not being reflective really, but uh, you know what, I'm, I'm proud of what we've done. Charday fans, the wait is finally over. The sultry singer spent eight years staying out of sight, raising her daughter and living a quiet life. She's back in the new millennium with Lovers Rock, another collection of bittersweet ballads. It's not just a collection of love songs. There are some very serious, very interesting songs. It's a very rich, smart album. I know Lovers Rock is a form of reggae, a style of reggae. Yeah. Right? So yeah. explain the title and how it ties into the music. Lovers Rock it is, it's a sort of soft, sweet reggae. Traditionally, me and Stuart have often started songs on just guitar and vocal, kind of lovers, in a Lovers Rock style. When I hear a beat like that, I feel lifted up and inspired so I can go and become someone for a few minutes that I'm not and sing in a way that I wouldn't necessarily naturally sing. The album is also less refined than Chardet's previous works. It's more rugged and, and more rough and um, more rootsy and more um, less perfect. All the performances are less perfect than they used to be. Most of Chardet's hits have been love songs. Her latest single, By Your Side, is no exception. By Your Side came about from a lover's rock moment. You know, Paul was playing, Paul, Paul was playing his bass and uh, we were just all in the studio jamming. <laughs> What's the song about when you were before the video came to be? It's about um, being there for somebody. Yeah. Written about anybody in particular? No. Yeah. <laughs> just generally. Yeah, it just came to me. Uh, it was a present to me. I think that song. It was one of the. It was the first one of the first songs we wrote, and it, and it came about quite easily. And they don't all. Sometimes it's a struggle, you know. With millions of records sold, Chardet has finally found a comfortable balance between her public and private persona. She's someone who traditionally has taken a long time between albums, and she's also someone who really has a genuine um, love of privacy. She probably won't see her at the premiere of like Adam Sandler's Little Nicky, because that's not what she does. Does it get easier as time goes on? I mean, yeah. as you get